Hi all, this is Dr. Akash Arwal, Scientific Director from Higde Fertility Hyderabad. I'll be speaking about what is the role of the hormones. We hear about hormones everywhere. It's a common thing whenever we have any problem medically related, could hormones be the cause? So what are hormones after all? You know, hormones are chemical messengers. They are produced at one place in the body and they act at a different place. So as far as hormones in fertility is concerned, they are secreted from a small organ called as pituitary, which is situated in the front of the brain and from there, they travel via the bloodstream to the testes, which are the primary internal genital organs in a male. And there they act upon the spermatogonial cells, which are the germ cells. These are the cells, progenitor cells, from which the future sperms will be produced. So how is this action initiated? This action is usually initiated around the time of puberty, when the brain will secrete more of this FSH and LH. And then it will come and act on the testis and the process of sperm production, which is spermatogenesis, will be initiated. So it's your FSH which is first primarily important and LH which will act on the testis. And this forms the major control of sperm production, the testosterone. So testosterone is formed in the testis by the action of the LH and it will go into the surrounding cells and thereby it initiates sperm production. So this is very much comparable to the rain. You know, you will be sowing the seeds and they are still over there in the land which is probably fertile but still it is not activated. So what do the hormones play a role? They play a role of similar to water. You have monsoons and boom, you see fertility, you see growth everywhere. Similarly, once the hormones act on a fertile testis, you can see the production of the sperms as such, which is normal in millions and millions of sperms per day, which should be motile and results in fertility in a male. And very much similar to the monsoon rain, which I have referred as analogy, is similar because too less or too much is too bad. You have very scarce rain, very low hormone level similarly, it is not sufficient to initiate the sperm production, a condition called as hypogonadotrophic hypogonadism. In this case, we need to supplement the hormones from outside, thereby it can initiate the sperm production. It need, takes a few months of time, people need to be patient about it, but then a majority of the patients would have sperm production and in fact, many of them will have even spontaneous conceptions. So it's very important to evaluate the hormones, levels, what are there, what is the interplay that's happening over there and treat the patient accordingly. And at the other end of the spectrum, we have the patients where the hormone production is probably excessive because the body is not producing sufficient number of sperms. It's your body which is trying to push for the sperm productions, but it's not happening. So what do we do in such cases? Probably hormonal supplementation may help in a few patients, but it's empirical at the end of the day. So in such patients, maybe you need to start with the ART treatment, which could be IUI, IVF or ICSI directly in such kind of patients because the chances of response to the hormonal therapy may be low. Testosterone, the major hormone, the major hormone in terms of male fertility, the hormone which is responsible for majority of your traits which would define you as masculine. The big muscular bodies that you see, the bodybuilders, they usually take testosterone supplements. The voice change that you see, this is an indication that testosterone is being secreted in normal volumes. And even for your sexual function as such, testosterone is very much required. And equally important role of testosterone is for the sperm production. Whenever there is a fluctuation in these levels, we need to correct for these fluctuations according to the problem which is present. And these hormones have a very complex interplay. The level of one you try to change, the other may change as well simultaneously. They go hand in hand. They work like a very fine-tuned orchestra which is being played and it's your brain which controls a majority part of it. We can slightly tweak this orchestra as we require it so that we get the benefit in terms of better sperm production and the patient can achieve fertility. Thank you. That's it for today.